give that going and welcome to the stage, Mark Quinn. Uh, if it's all right with you, I'm going to hold this bottle of water while I do my set. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. No, no, because some people can be quite weird about things like that. They'll be like, oh, he's old now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit like, um... no, it's not like that. No, no. Yeah. Um... Uh, you know, you've had a good wank <laughs> when one of your contact lenses falls out. My name's Mark. Uh, <laughs> sorry, there's no no background to that joke. Nothing like that. I'm not a, like a one-liner comedian. I'm not a comedian at all. This is like maybe me third or fourth set. Um, it's difficult. You know, you come out looking at me like I'm something that's just passed through a homeless Labrador. So, you know, it's difficult. You feel like you're out the back foot, um, you know, immediately. So I suppose generally I want to start off my set by saying... You're not better than me, and don't even think that you are, okay? I, I'm a very stressed person. I'm a very stressed person, I'm sorry. Um, I'm very stressed. Um, stress is the biggest killer of children in America. I made that, I don't think that's true, but anyway. So I do try the, the general things to try and um, de-stress, you know, scented candles, table teas. Um, what's the one where you put cooking oil on the back of your calves and jump in a lake, that one. <laughs> Never really works. Never really works. Swimming pools. <laughs> oh, one way that I like to... I need to work on my timing. I know, I'm sorry. Swimming pools, yeah. Um, not necessarily the act of swimming itself. Uh, you might have noticed this. I'm not saying I've come up with it. Swimming pools in the height of summer are the perfect place to punch children. <laughs> Let me grab your hand and take you on a journey. I don't have kids. I don't have kids. Look, I'm sure kids are lovely. It's kind of like a trope for, like, single person. No, I don't want kids. I'm sure they're amazing if you've got them. Not in a swimming pool environment, they're not. The pool pricks, water wankers, aqua bastards. They're like the movie Piranha. Except instead of eating, yeah, they just knock past you with the big, fat, post-pandemic arses. And even like a faint chemtrail of shit and LucasAid sports behind. But in the swimming pool, you have one advantage, which you might have noticed. What goes on in the water, underwater in a swimming pool, goes largely unnoticed. Let's <laughs> not beat around the bush. Most people will use this to touch themselves. Most, most people, most wrongans will use this to touch themselves. Like my mate Liam, who's um, banned from all future PO cruisers, unfortunately. So, but what you can also do underneath the water is. Punch a child. <laughs> you still, you still with me? I'm not saying you gave a toddler a haymaker off a diving board. No, not unlike that. It's really cathartic just to give them an elbow in the stomach as they're going past, and it has like three benefits that over normal um, child abuse. Um, one it doesn't really hurt them because you can't get the purchase when it's underwater. Yeah. Um, B. You don't realise until they're miles away. They don't realise that you've done anything. And six, it does hurt them, really. It does. There'd be no point doing it, otherwise, wouldn't it? But they, they, it does massively hurt them. They'll just know not to do it in future, basically. Um, normally scan the rune at this point. If I want to. <laughs> when I say kids, I don't mean, like, ten-year-olds, obviously. Ten-year-olds, their bodies are brittle, going through puberty. No, no, no. It's the five to six-year-olds. That's who you need to need to get. The ones whose bones regrow. Yeah, you got to pick the um, age right. You know, the they're not watching Blues Clues anymore, but they're not listening to Wet Ass Pussy by Cardi B either. Yeah, I thought about this. Don't worry. Uh, it's good. I say it's a good thing to get away with. If you want to really put on your best Oscar thing, Oscar. Um, you can knock into them and then pretend like you didn't. On purpose, you go, oh no, oh cheese and whiskers, oh, oh, I'm hearing this voice the same time as you, by the way, and I, I'm, I'm equally scared, 
oh, oh, his Paw Patrol armbands come off. Let me just get that for you. Yeah. I'm so, I didn't see him. 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 Sorry, I didn't see him. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh is this daddy coming over high? And I'm sorry, I didn't. What's that? Oh, yeah, two or three times a week. Yeah, just to keep the cardio up. It's sweet of you to notice. Thank you very much. Yeah. I, I, I see, I didn't. Um... <laughs> Are you okay, little fella? Scared myself with that one. Um, other than newborn swim on Sundays is difficult, but it's not impossible. <laughs> but yeah, that one. Um, oh, yeah. But no, what you can do is you know the big fat ones, then they dive bomb in front of you. Now, if you're swimming along, they'll end up right underneath you. Never pass up this opportunity. You can literally stand on them for about four <laughs> seconds. Oh. What did you do with the weekend, Mark? Oh, not just stepped on kids for four seconds. Stepped away all the ills of the world. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Now, what you can also do... Um, you know that scene in American History X where Edward Norton puts the guy's face on the pavement? And this is obviously all just a joke. <laughs> Don't call the police. Um, can you have a little look under your seats and, and at the bar? Before you leave, um, I lost the contact lens about an hour ago somewhere. <laughs> um, I just uh, don't know where. Thank you very much. My name's Mark. Fuck <laughs> with everyone!